developing north of Corpus Christi now as far as flooding. But right now we do have uh, our own Weather Channel crew standing by in Driscoll, Texas, and that is uh, our own Mike Seidel. And Mike, you've seen a lot of flooding during the last couple of days. What's the latest from your vantage point? Well, right now we're standing in the floodwaters here, Will. We're about 30 miles from Corpus Christi on Highway 665. This is uh, one of those Texas farm roads, and that's the intersection up there with US 77. And just take a look at all the water out here. It's running a couple of feet deep, and so far we've seen five cars get stuck and have to be pushed out because uh, too much water in the, the under the hood area. The water has not receded much since six this morning. We have had a couple of heavy showers. The worst of the weather was last night here in Driscoll, a small town of about 700 people. Let's go to the mass cam and show you the area which was hit last night to, with heavy rainfalls. And remember, a lot of this area was hit with 18 to 20 inches of rain since uh, Thursday. So we've had some terrible flooding and in fact, some evacuations last night. And joining me now is Sergeant Julio Solis of the Nueces County Sheriff's Department. And Sergeant, what can you tell us about what happened here last night? Well, basically what happened last night, we had large amounts of torrential rains uh, causing evacuation of the west side of the town here. Uh, a lot of people stranded, uh, kids, and we had to take out, you know, by boats, airboats, uh, Texas Department of uh, uh, Wildlife and helped us out with the boats and we just uh, took some people out of the houses because they were not uh, unable to get, you know, walk towards the streets, towards the highway. So. Uh, mainly, uh, we were concerned about uh, the elderly people, and uh, we took a few elderly people out there that were, you know, uh, kind of ill. So we brought them over here across the street towards the church. How many people were evacuated? Uh, approximately uh, about 100, 150 people. And have any of them gone back to their homes this morning? Uh, as far as I know, not yet. Uh, we, we haven't opened up the, the west side of the town here yet. Uh, it's still underwater, a little bit underwater. It's going down, but uh, yeah, it's getting there, you know. So. Uh, it's going to be uh, maybe about another hour or so. How much water uh, is in the streets uh, last night and compared to this morning? Uh, we're talking about anywhere from maybe three and a half to four feet uh, water in different parts of the neighborhood there. Uh, in some places there is, was underwater about four feet and in other places were maybe two and a half feet. So it, it varied, you know. It, How long have you lived in the area? Um, here in this area, well, I mainly I patrol here in this area uh, for the Sheriff's Department about 12, 13 years, and well, I live in Corpus Christi, but you know, this is our main uh, district out here. Have you ever seen it this bad? Uh, not really. Maybe just one time, but not as this bad as, as it happened last night in those torrential rains, you know. So okay, Sergeant Solis, we appreciate the uh, information, and we'll get, let you get back to work, and hopefully we'll get the rain out of here. Oh, so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sergeant Solis from the Nueces County Sheriff's Department. We're here in Driscoll, Texas. The rain has stopped. The sun is out for now, but that doesn't mean it's over with. We'll monitor the situation. A flash flood watch continues, and more heavy rain is expected between now and sometime Monday. Will? Okay, Mike. Thanks a lot for your report. We'll get back to you a little bit later.